Tax reform and early education were at the top of the agenda today as the Hawaii legislature opened the doors for the 2023 session. And as Daryl Huff reports, this opening much more upbeat than in recent years. This was the day the pageantry and lots of people returned to the state capitol. The spirits were high here both because of that and because the biggest issue seems to be how to spend a big surplus of money. The music was back and so were the people bringing their hopes and their grievances to the capitol, including one Hawaiian activist who tried to disrupt the house session and was dragged out by sheriff's deputies. Other than that, people seemed to savor a return to normal. Every crisis, if met together with resilience and resolve, brings new lessons and a chance to improve. There were big spending promises in both houses, targeted tax breaks for middle class and low income residents, more money for affordable housing, and support for free public preschool. The price should not be an obstacle to giving your child a fair start, an ability to compete on equal ground. The Senate president made a point of congratulating Lieutenant Governor Sylvia Luke on her preschool plan and also tossed an olive branch to the governor. I've talked about how I love the governor and the lieutenant governor. <laughs> But Kochi shot down the governor's plan to tax tourists on arrival, saying the fees should be collected at popular parks. The governor is not fighting back. Whether you do it as a fee when you come into the state, which we'll talk about, or as fees when you're at these locations, the money still goes in there. It still will do the same thing. Republicans, although still a small minority in each house, called for doing more to address the cost of living and for extensive reform, like eliminating the income tax. I think what people in Hawaii are looking for is almost everybody is living paycheck to paycheck. People are looking for widespread reform. For people who want to get something from legislators, it's always best to be here in person. But during the pandemic, the legislative website was vastly improved, so it's much easier to track bills, watch hearings, and get your message through. Reporting from the state capitol, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.